Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Resale World Technical Support, and this is a video on creating a mass payout with Resale Wallet. So there's three prerequisites that you need to complete before you can do your first mass payout. And it's the same thing with a single payout. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a PayPal business account and that you have set up the ability to create payouts through the PayPal portal. And this is your developer portal with PayPal. Just to note that enabling payouts through your PayPal portal can take a little bit of time, but they will send you an email when it's ready. The second prerequisite is that you have to add a digital payout ID for any account that you want to pay out through PayPal. This is because a person's email that you use to communicate with them can be different from their digital payout ID with PayPal. And finally, the third thing you need to do is make sure that the payment account for each account that you want to pay out with Resale Wallet is set to PayPal. We do this by opening any account, then scrolling down to the payment account and making sure that payment account is set to PayPal. Otherwise, they will not get picked up by the Resale Wallet mass payout. Don't forget to hit save when you're finished. To create a mass payout with Resale Wallet, we're first gonna click on activities at the top left, then we're gonna click on accounting and account payments. From here, we're gonna go ahead and fill in our criteria as if we were doing a regular check run. The key difference here is that we're gonna be setting the payment account to PayPal. We can set our payout fee, which will be deducted from each check to help cover our cost for resale wallet. And when you're paying out regular checks, this can help cover your overhead for the cost of checks. Your minimum payout amount is the minimum threshold that a client must have in their account before you can pay them out. This can help prevent you from accidentally paying out an amount that is due to a consigner that is less than what you would consider viable to create a resale wallet payout. Now we're gonna click on the prepare payouts button. From here, we can see the total due, the payout fees that you're going to be charging, which in this case is a dollar per payout created. And then this is a total amount minus the payout fees. We can then click on either the summary only or full detail so that you can print your preliminary check register, or in this case, your resale wallet register. I'm going to go ahead and click on summary only to show you what this will look like. And from here, we can see that we're gonna be paying out two people for what is owed. Once we've printed out that report and closed it out, we can click on the next button. And we're gonna notice some things on this screen. We notice that we have one account that is highlighted orange. If we hover our mouse over the color notifier, we'll notice that it's missing the digital payout ID. And it's the very first account. We have to add the PayPal digital payout ID for this account before we can pay them out. I'm gonna go ahead and click the close button. So the first account was the one that we were missing the digital payout ID for. I'm going to open that up. And we're going to scroll towards the bottom to where we see the digital payout ID option. Now we can call the customer up and confirm what their digital payout ID is and type it into this field. Once it's added, we can hit the save button. Then we can go back into activities, accounting, and then account payments. You'll notice that the orange notifier is gone, which means that it's good to go. We can now click the Send Payouts button. Liberty will now attempt to send those payouts through Resale Wallet. And we got a good processing completed dialog box. We can click OK on this. Now before we continue, there's a couple of things I'd like to notate here. I'm going to go ahead and click the Back button, and if we look at the notifiers here, they are green, which means ready to post. This means that the payouts have been sent out through Resale Wallet and are now available to the clients as a payout. If you see a yellow indicator, that means that when the payout was sent through Resale Wallet, the digital ID did not exist. So you will need to right click and remove the payout, and then you can continue on with this payout. The reason why you have to do this is because the payouts have already been sent minus the one that did not have a correct digital payout ID. You can then correct that account and then redo the payouts. As everything's okay with this mass payout, we're gonna click the next button. Now we can click on our print check summary report. We can print this report for our records, but it is digitally stored within Liberty. So it is not a requirement. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this report. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click the post the payouts button. And that's it. It's important to note that anybody that was paid out using this process will receive an email that contains their payout detail. This was a video on how to create a mass payout through Resale Wallet.